Hi, I'm Jason from Clean Energy Reviews and here I am on the edge of the Alps in southern Bavaria, Germany. Um, came to Germany for the Intersolar and while I'm here I'm going to do the uh, first uh, electric vehicle review for Clean Energy Reviews. So let's do it. Acceleration. Whoa! There we go! Hundred! That blows me away. That's crazy fast. It's just so quick and effortless. See how it handles. So smooth and quiet, it's amazing. It's almost like this is how cars should have been from the beginning. And if we might just change the driving feel for the steering mode to sport, and it'll give us a bit more of a solid feel. Oh, look at that. So we're on the autobahn and um, let's see what this can do. There goes a Porsche. The charging port is on the left rear side of the vehicle and it's a type 2 connection with the supercharger connection at the bottom here, these two large prongs for up to 150 kilowatts DC. Um, whereas the type 2 charger at the top is for AC and I believe that goes up to 22 kilowatts depending on the vehicle. And so we've arrived at the supercharging station and we have 103 kilometers left which is about a bit below a quarter of the battery and it's been quite accurate actually um the range has been yeah pretty much spot on okay let's test out the supercharger here's the supercharging station it looks pretty new looks like it's just been dropped here go hearing some clicking starting to charge so the time is 7:34 and it's telling us it's 50 minutes to full So it's uh, been a bit over 10 minutes now. Well, the uh, range is already up to 255 kilometers. So we've added 150 kilometers in less than 15 minutes. That's incredible. And the charge rate is 102 kilowatts, so it's dropped slightly. And it's adding at a rate of 660 kilometers an hour. 
So we've got 350 kilometers of range now, which is plenty. And um, I'm just going to disconnect the charger. Press the button. And there we go. Now, if we look around the vehicle, we can see some of the sensors um, and cameras. So there's one in the B pillar. And down here, just on the near the wheel arch in the front. And we have the standard parking style ultrasonic sensors around the front and the rear. And of course, the rear camera and a front camera and a bunch of sensors which you can't quite see so there's loads of sensors and the radar which um can see up to 160 meters ahead which is incredible so the tesla has 12 ultrasonics sensors around the vehicle in the front and the rear and the sides which detect nearby traffic and you can see a 3d representation of those on the display which is really handy talk about blind spot detection you can't beat that it's really quite accurate So this Model 3 has autopilot and I'll give a demonstration. So we can see the two lines either side of the vehicle and the steering wheel indicates it has enough information through the radar and the sensors to engage. So there we go. It's slowing down for the truck. And I can feel it moving the steering wheel. So we're using autopilot to take the exit now and it's there it goes. And it's slowing automatically and slowing right down and steering. It's incredible. Here we go. 200 meters, turn right onto street 2350. It's a little bit, I'm not sure, no, it's okay. It's asking me to apart, to put my hands on the wheel and it's let, right onto street 2350. letting me take over now. I think it's uh, not so happy about autopiloting on that kind of road, which is fair enough. It's really only designed at this point for for highways and freeways and the autobahn.